So I know you do have um, a video that uh, went into uh, detail about um, your um, passion for hockey and how that came about, but uh, do you mind just uh, telling us a little bit more about that and like, you know, how you became a hockey fan and is hockey your number one sport? Of course. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's the most common question I get, whether it's like doing live streams or talking to people on podcasts or just in hockey fans in general. Um, it, obviously, the accent throws a lot of people off. So they think, how is somebody with an English accent interested in hockey? I'll explain. It's all good. So um, I, uh, my family and I, um, every summer, um, when I was about, oh, it must have been like, kind of when I was late single digits like early double digits so like eight to ten like eight to twelve kind of thing every year we would go over to somewhere in america first uh, for the summer because my dad would be working over there um, at a conference over there and then the rest of the family would go with him and uh, we'd go and have a nice time in whatever city we were in so like i couldn't complain at all um and then uh one year my dad um who decided to buy me the pc version of nhl 2004 I hadn't heard of hockey before then. I can't remember exactly how old I was. I think I was about eight or nine, something around that margin. But I was a huge video game guy. Like, I love video games. Still love them to this day. Like, a couple of hours ago, I was playing God of War. Great game. Love it. Um, nice. And uh, I played it a little while, like NHL 2004. And, you know, just kind of like, eh, not really my thing. I'm going to move on to something else because I'm nine. I can do whatever I want, you know. And then no responsibilities or anything like that. It's great when you're a kid and you don't have any responsibilities, isn't it? Um, but then you, uh, a couple of years later, it was just one of those one of those days where I was sitting at home. It was a, uh, a weekend. I think I had nothing to do that day. Like all of my friends were busy. Like I didn't have any like clubs or uh, social events to go to. So it's kind of like, oh, I've played everything that I've wanted to do. I've done all the work that I've needed to do. Like, well, what do I do? And I saw NHL 2004 sitting there picked it back up, reinstalled it on the computer, and then the rest is history, really. Uh, it's just kind of from there. I played it once, then I couldn't stop playing it, and I played it every day for God knows how long. And then I started checking the NHL website. This was about when I was, must have been 12 or 13, something around that margin. Um, I think it was about 2010, 2011 is when I got interested in hockey. Um, so I'm kind of about 10 years now, which is crazy to think because it's been such a long time. Um, but the biggest memory I have is the Boston Bruins winning the cup against the Canucks in 2011. And then obviously the whole thing that came out after that, which, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of the big memory I have of uh, like when I first got into the sport, um, I picked the New York Rangers as kind of my go-to team. Um, I can't quite figure out why I've sat there a few times over the years and thought, why is it specifically that I like the New York Rangers? And I just can't come to a conclusion. It's just kind of like, I like them and I, I support them like they're my go-to team in the NHL. I watch as many of their games as possible. Luckily with my schedule at the moment, it means that I can stay up till 2.30 in the morning to be able to watch them lose to Philadelphia or something. So it, it's all good. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of how my uh, journey got started. Just watching uh, or playing video games. It was always the Dallas Stars versus the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Always had to be that way because for a little while, I couldn't. I didn't realize that you could change the teams. I was young, like, like, give me a pass, guys. So it was always Dallas Stars versus Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. And every single time I played, it was either one of those two teams. And from there, it just snowballed. And here we are 10 years later, and I still can't get enough of the sport. So obviously something went right. <laughs> yeah, that was actually the case with me with NHL. I think it was 2006 when I first mm. started uh, playing, um, playing the video game. Um, luckily for me, the default was Toronto versus Detroit. And okay, being a wow, Leafs fan, a yeah, being a Leafs fan, I was, you know, really, uh, um, I, it was, <laughs> I was quite relieved being like, oh, I guess this is the only choices I get. Well, it's the Leafs. So, you know, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but no, I, I give you a pass. Cause yeah, I was at the time I, I didn't realize that you could switch the teams. So, okay, good. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, and I, I was also curious, uh, about how, if you're in a different time zone, you know, how do you keep up with the games? But uh, yeah, just if it means just being a night owl, then cool, right on. Pretty much, yep. <laughs>